Well, I think the most interesting thing is that he is the last really big dog to get in the race. Uh, he is do he's doing very well in Iowa. There are a lot of conservative activists who've been talking about him. He's really got to be considered in the top tier. So now that he's in, we're going to start to see maybe a few more attacks, a little bit uh, different kind of a race, and we'll see it move into that next stage. Uh, you already mentioned Iowa. A lot of people think that's where he may have the best chance. He certainly put a lot of eggs in that basket. Has he put too many eggs in that basket? There are a lot of candidacies that have run afoul of Iowa, putting a lot of eggs into that basket. And remember, the key thing is it's not just whether you show up first or second, but it's how you do relative to expectations. And so ex expectations are high for him in Iowa, but they always were going to be high. He had to embrace that because high because he's from the Midwest, high because can social conservatives like him, and also because he's got a record to run on. So he couldn't deny the fact that he's going to have high expectations, so you might as well embrace him. Yeah, that's the one to watch for him. As a candidate, overall speaking, what are some of the things that make him, perhaps, you think, an, an attractive candidate to, to the base? What makes him an attractive candidate is he's a governor. He's not just talked about things, but he's done them, as all governors have to, but he's also got a record, and his record is full of things that conservatives like and they find admirable. He's also not from Washington, D.C., those are two really big qualities that help him and help him separate himself from the other candidates. John, on the other side of that coin, what are some things that are going to be maybe targets for his opponents that, that maybe they can attack in terms of his weaknesses? I think there are uh, two big things. One, his opponents will say he's not a sufficient conservative, and they'll look at his position on life, on same-sex marriage, and they'll try to say he's not been pure enough, and so he'll have to fight back on that. Then I think there will be two related critiques. One will be he has no foreign policy experience that you can't just learn it on the job. And the other is that he is um, not ready for the big stage, even though he's been the governor of a state. This is always a, a, a claim that they make against the candidates. Uh, and so, you know, it's a question of whether people will be able to envision him as the president. And that'll be something his opponents will be trying to undermine him. Yeah. Uh, when you look at his travel schedule in the next few days, Vegas, South Carolina, uh, Iowa, spending a lot of time there with an RV tour there, three days. What does it tell you about his plan of attack in this campaign? Well, he, like all of them, is trying to do well in those top states, those top four states. I think South Carolina and Nevada setting up better for him than, say, New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a state where you've got Jeb Bush, Chris Christie, John Kasich, and even Senator Graham all trying to kind of boost their campaigns in that state. So. Walker has kind of a natural setup in Iowa and in South Carolina and Nevada, so he's, or in, in, uh, in Nevada, so he's trying to kind of run where his strengths would be. Finally, what's it going to take for him to, I mean, a lot of people think he's already a very key player in this race. What's it going to take for him to, to stay in this and, and make it a, a successful run? To be successful, Governor Walker's going to need money to last because he's fighting, you know, he's going to be up against Jeb Bush. He's got $115 million as of this last reporting cycle which means Jeb Bush is going to be in it for the long haul. So Walker needs the money to compete. He also needs endurance. He's going to take some falls. He's already had a little bit of a few stumbles. He's just going to have to endure and push through. So endurance and money are the two big things for him. All right. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.